What's going on Machine Masters? This is James Jackson with another Machine Masters tutorial. What I'm going to talk about in today's tutorial is actually going to cover two topics. Hey. It's going to cover time stretching and it's going to cover truncating. I had a machine user hit me up uh, asking how he can truncate his sample uh, so he can take certain parts of it without uh, losing everything else. And then he wants to be able to time stretch that sample as well uh, to fit the beat that he was already that he already had made to fit the drum pattern in the BPM. So I'm going to show you that today. So first off, we have our sample. I'm going to show play it for you right now. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to take just the first bar of that sample, and then I'm going to take the fourth bar of that sample, and I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get rid of everything else. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, wrap my start and end points around the first bar of the sample. So for those of you following along, uh, I'm using the machine hardware uh, to find my start and end points, but if you do prefer to use the software, you can uh, drag the S and the E to find your start and end. So just a little more fine tweaking to really get in there. I'm going to zoom in. And I bet it's about right there. Let's find out. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep, that's about right. So, uh, in a perfect world, you would truncate that, and then you could time stretch it, you know, so it's four bars, and it's you can time stretch it right onto your beat. But remember, we want to take the fourth bar of this sample, too. So if you truncate this, you're going to lose all of that. So what I recommend doing is copying uh, the pad, and then pasting it onto another pad, like so. So now, on pad 15, I've got the same exact sample. So now I'm going to go over to bar 4. I'm going to find that in the sample. Alright, so that's the end of it. I believe it's going to start around here somewhere. Let's find out. So there we have it. There's bar four. So I'm going to play bar one. So there we go, bar one and bar four. I'm going to bring that out just a little bit. There we go. So now that we have bars one and bar four selected, you can truncate these. Now, however, I do recommend doing one additional step. I recommend that, say you want to go back and you want to grab bar three, you want to grab a piece of bar two or like a piece at the end of the sample over here. I recommend copying the sample again and pasting it onto a pad that's, you know, completely out of the way, out of the way of your workflow. So that way you still have the entire sample there to work with, even though you primarily want to work with just uh, bars one and two of this sample. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and truncate these. Like so. So now we've gotten rid of everything around the sample, so it's just one bar for each sample, starting with uh, bar four here. And then bar one. And so this is where you could go in really fine if you absolutely wanted to and really get in there and clean it up and, and get a perfect four bar loop. But for the purpose of this tutorial, to keep it from going 40 minutes, uh, I'm going to run with what I've got here. <laughs> so um, I've already got a drum loop already ready to go. So I'm going to play that for you.
All right, now we want our sample to be the same speed as that drum loop. And you see our BPM right here, if you look in the upper left middle corner, <laughs> uh, you see it's at 88 beats per minute. So if I was to come over here and click on stretch, it shows you that our temp that our sample is originally 80.1 beats a minute and it's one bar and the new BPM we want to bring it to is 88 which is what our 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 tempo is for our entire song and we'll stretch it to one bar so using beat mode it'll auto detect the it'll auto detect you know how many bars you have and how fast it's going um, if you were to use free mode uh, then you've got to basically come up with a percentage to, to get it right. I usually always recommend beat mode just to make things easier. Um, and you know, just while I'm at it, little little tidbit, if you want to pitch your sample up, you know, if that's what the tune is right here, you can give it like the Kanye effect. So just for giggles, I'll pitch it up to five, you know, just to give you an, give you an idea of, you know, what your sample could sound like. So I'm going to apply this. And now when I hit the drum beat, I'm going to hit the sample at the same time. You'll notice that it's right on time with the beat. I'm going to bring it in on the two. <laughs> So there you have it. That sample is moving at the same tempo as the as the uh, as the drum beat. So I'm going to do the same thing with uh, bar four here. I'm going to stretch it. We're going to bring it up to oh, not to 15, but to five. So it's all the same. And this one shows that it's a little bit faster, but you know we'll work with it for now. Apply. Same thing now. So there you have it. That is how you use your time stretch and your truncate to get different parts of the sample uh, without uh, destroying the entire sample because, as I said, I've got the whole sample here still on one. So now you could go in even further. Say you want to slice this up, say into, say into eight parts or something. Slice it into eight so you can apply. And now, you know, you could come in here and, you know, you could go ham with it, basically. So just to give you an idea, you still got your slices there, um, and then you can you know rearrange them into a, a groove however you see fit. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is James Jackson with another Machine Masters tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you find it helpful. If you want to get more tutorials like this or get more tips and tricks or just join an all-out awesome community with a lot of machine users, uh, join www.machinemasters.com. Um, there is a free membership, but if you do become a bachelor or a master, you can uh, take part in our sample pack Saturdays and also take part in our beat battles. Uh, something very cool that we got going on over there. Um, but the big thing with them sample pack Saturdays, that gives you the chance to do exactly the technique we worked on here today, is to work on the truncating and work on the time stretching, um, you know, just to really get your timing down with your samples and what have you. So, in the meantime, in between time, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.